Hi everyone, this is Tanya Lee of Harmonia Tarot and welcome to your weekend reading for January 10th through the 12th. Guys, this is a general reading, meaning it's not going to resonate with every single soul out there, okay? So take what resonates, leave the rest, and always utilize your own intuition. If you feel guided and you want to have more of a private reading, go ahead and look at the description box below. All of my information is there and yes, I am open for bookings for January, okay? Time is fluid, so even though this is a weekend reading, some of this may have happened already, some of this may be going on right now. And sometimes I find that they happen a little bit a couple days later, so we'll see. All right, so if you feel guided and are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe, hit that bell twice so that you can be notified of all future updates. All right, let's get started. Calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascendant masters as to what messages that we need to hear for this weekend. We're starting off with the angel answer cards, and then we're going to move into the tarot cards. All right, so let's see what we have. Well, we have one flying out already. Here we go. We got three already. Blew out. We're starting off with meditation brings answers. Meditation brings answers. This is about being present. Being present, right? Next to it is trust. Wow, it's a big one. <laughs> and then on the third one is we have wait. You're being guided to wait. For many of you, I feel like you might feel the need to discuss something or bring something to light or react right away, okay? Some of you, this is in regards to love. Others of you, this is just a relationship aspect, being like, think before, I, I keep hearing, um, think before you react, okay? Step back, okay? And not always being logical, but just really step back. And I think that's really what's needed here is to be in that hermit hermit state. I will not be surprised if we get the hermit card um, with the tarot deck. But this is basically stating like, I need to be present. I need to really ask questions and see what happens within, um, how feelings come out and what comes about. And this is basically also trusting, trusting your own intuition here. Trusting in um, the universe as well here. We have Master Jesus behind here. Um, so this is basically having faith, having faith in an aspect. If you, doesn't matter if you're religious or not, it's basically just holding faith, okay? Faith to the reality that things will work out as they are meant to, okay? With wait, it's basically stating for you to do that. Just wait, hold off, allow yourself to have the emotions come up before you react to a situation. This is basically saying do not react yet, okay? Let's see what um, the tarot cards have to say with this reaction that's coming in place here. What additional messages do we have for this weekend for the 10th or the 12th? Here we go. We're starting off with the chariot. There's that needing to move, right? Reacting. The king of swords, wow. <laughs> the king of pentacles, two kings here. The high priestess reversed, interesting. Um, we have the tower reversed, okay. The six of cups here. On weight, we have the seven of wands. The two of of cups reversed and the five of wands reversed, okay? The overall energy is the knight of cups, which is a loving, emotional, supportive, something coming towards you, all right? I feel for a lot of you, this is that need of wanting to offer something, okay? Now, what's interesting on, on um, the meditation one, the meditation brings answers, we have Chariot, the King of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. Now with the Chariot, this is fast moving, something that's coming really, really quickly to you, moving to. I feel for a lot of you, once you take the step of sitting back and allowing yourself to, um, you know, identify your emotions and your feelings, um, you're gonna feel this need to push forward all of a sudden, right? Um, I think a lot of you, and, my, and you could be an air sign too, so Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, but with the King of Swords, this is someone who's strategic and logic, not utilizing their intuition, right? It's like they're playing all their cards to see where they are gonna land, all right? But we also have the King of Pentacles here, so you might be dealing with somebody who is a little bit stubborn, um, father figure as well, um, could be somebody who's supportive, but you know, financially abundant, 
Uh, this is Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But with them both hand in hand, I feel like we have somebody who's a logical person here and somebody who's a little bit more grounded, but maybe a little bit stubborn or not realizing that you want to, um, you know, communicate a communicate something to this individual, maybe about something that happened. Okay, I feel like whatever happened is out of your control, meaning that with the High Priestess reverse and it's across from this you know king of swords energy i mean you are not utilizing your intuition right now and it's not like you don't want to i think the logical side of you is saying no i can't listen to this right now we need to take care of something now all right again spirit is reminding you to trust trust the situation now a tower is about taking the foundation removing it okay breaking something that no longer serves this um this partnership this relationship okay because we got two here and it does feel like there's somebody else here that you were um, miscommunicating with having an argument with okay but what's happening here is it's the environment that you both are in okay this doesn't necessarily intentionally mean that you are falling to the ground it's that you're watching or observing something that is outside of your control okay I do feel strongly for many of you this is something to do with family this is um, you know this could be a family argument or somebody wanting to do something their way and not really talking it out with you there is an offer here though there is love here so I do do feel that there's compassion and love um, like I said you might be the one who wants to offer something or offer love to this individual but somebody is still a little bit defensive um, feeling a little bit like out of control and then they're really telling you with this on, on wait with the seven of wands about this defensive energy that if you wait just wait just wait and let them kind of react and do their own thing imaging or whatever that you know let them have their moment um, it's not saying that um, you can't speak up or talk about it. It's just that this person isn't reacting yet, so they need to go through their process so that when, if you do wait, the defenses will be down, okay? Um, the idea right now with the Two of Cups reverse, it's basically stating that somebody's not seeing eye to eye with you, okay? And it is reversed in this level. But I feel like if you wait, um, all of the commotion and everything will be returning and we'll see what the after tarot says because I have the after tarot deck that I'm going to be using it to validate this but with the five of wands reverse guys this is basically saying that if you wait their, their boundaries are going to be down they're not going to cause conflict in any essence if the waiting is is you know true in this aspect let's see what we have with the after tarot deck on top of these cards I do not do reversals on the after tarot they play right off on top of these rider decks. That's why I'm doing them together. Here we go. Wow. Five of wands on that chariot. Again, king of wands, the six of pentacles, the two of pentacles. On the tower, we have the seven of cups, temperance on that um, six of cups, justice on that seven of wands, on that two of uh cups we have that ace of swords and we have the chariot again you just basically got the reverses of this okay so check these cards out guys i get excited when i see these cards <sighs> meditate when you do that you're gonna allow this commotion to turn into this they're gonna listen they're gonna listen to you, okay? So definitely take the time to just meditate, center yourself because th this person will listen to you. With the King of Swords and the Knight of Wands energy, this individual, and they could be, you know, a fire sign here. Um, they could be very young in, in, in any essence too, but they have a way of being quick, of coming in and out of your life or maybe just causing commotion and then leaving and then saying, eh, you know? But in essence, with the fact that the, King of, the Knight of Wands is coming towards this King of swords which I do feel is your energy um, and that this person may have been stubborn like I said before now this person um, you know wants to do with the six of Pentacles give an equal give and take in here now typically with the six of Pentacles he's kind of like these people aren't walking away from the situation like they're too late for a situation this individual may be too late in receiving like giving uh, at this point because they've done this so many times and that's the scenario they put themselves in not you it's what they put themselves in 
With the High Priestess reversed and the Two of Pentacles on top of this, this to me is, again, juggling a situation, juggling and trying to get balance of this so that you can move on to calmer waters. Notice, though, that people are leaving. I feel like you felt like you're always on a time constraint with this individual. The tower that is reversed has the seven of cups on this. I feel like this person um, in the past, and I don't think it's you or this family member, has made some decisions or poor choices in their life. I see the snake here and they're just pointing out that something that was maybe toxic in them that they need to shed. But this is about showcasing or leading by example to show them the balance that they can have here with the Six of Cups and the Temperance energy, Sagittarius energy here. So this is definitely about wanting to take the balance, being able to give back or support this individual. And I feel like that's you. I just feel like strongly this is you giving that support or emotional support to them, even though they've kind of been not the most flattering individual <laughs> but there is justice here there is absolute justice in the situation libra energy here but they always point out in the after terror that we have you know basically somebody who is a little bit poor and then another person who is not who's asking for justice on this this was not an equal give and take relationship this is about trying to balance a situation so it is equal give and take here this is if you wait this is if you wait there will be a balance with the Two of Cups reverse and the Ace of Swords. The waiting that happens when you do this, when you sit back, when you step back and let this person react or let them do their thing this weekend, there's gonna be some truth that is gonna be set or told into the situation. That's what's gonna create that movement that you've been anticipating and wanting to do. So just wait, allow this person to react, allow them to come to you, and what's gonna happen is there's going to be some truth in the matter, and this conflict that was no more anymore in this waiting, that's where the movement's gonna come and this person's really gonna come in to enlighten you, to give you something in there. They might be from a distance as well with this chariot energy, okay? Let's see what um, healing advice we have for you this weekend. <clears throat> Get grounded. Empaths, highly sensitives, connect with nature. The crumbling. What are you clinging on to? And unbound. Releasing soul patterns, contracts, and life. Um, past lives. Okay, so get grounded. Empaths, high sensitives, connect with nature. This is basically that grounding, okay? Start meditating, guys. Get grounded. It's This is validation cards on top of validation cards, but this is basically saying center yourself. Center yourself because this is going to take great energy for you, okay? The crumbling. What are you clinging on to? <laughs> This is the, basically the tower card here, again, that you're seeing here, okay? Sphere is reminding you that this isn't your tower moment. This is the other individual's tower moment. Remember, this tower was reversed. This is somebody else. This is not dealing with you. You're just watching it happen, okay? Allow it to happen. Allow this, allow this person to learn their lesson. This is not your lesson to be learned to this aspect from their perception. I mean, it is a lesson for you to learn, but the lesson to learn is to wait, basically, on here. And then we have Unbound here, which is releasing soul patterns, contract, and past lives. This is something that you have felt, you know, you probably do have a soul contract with this individual. If it's family, it's probably a soulmate to some aspect. But this is basically allowing this to be released by waiting and allowing this person to go through the motions of their own without trying to step in in any way to fix the situation, okay? This is not a need to fix. This is allow things to happen as they are meant to be, as they're meant to be. All right, guys, if this resonated for you, go ahead and hit like, comment below, and I will see you next weekend.